Good evening, comrades. I hope you're well. Give me a shout. Who's vaccinated? Woo! Yeah, fuck yeah. I overcame the hesitancy and misinformation today and I had my first shot. Thank you. It was heroin, but... Uh, no, no. <laughs> no tracking in 5G for me. It's just 5G and track marks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, side effects include great poetry. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? Fucking... Paul Kelly really got me over the line, do you know what I mean? Fucking stoked about it. I tell you what, it's so authoritarian though. We're going to talk about this. The language getting used around this issue, it's very concerning, right? Because I was listening to the radio this morning. In the morning, the police commissioner is the vaccine commander, right? And then the evening, he's the fucking police commissioner. So like, what are you doing morning shift in Gilead and the evening shift in Girouane, mate? What the fuck is going on here? Hey? <laughs> Got more jobs than battles and plus you can't for fuck's sake. <laughs> and the fucking corporate coercion and blackmailing, so white mailing people with their employment, you know, like to get vaccinated, because we're all fucking pro vax but anti tax in corporate Australia, you know? <laughs> and you know who else had a no jab, no job employment policy? Yeah. Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know Harvey's jab had years of rigorous testing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck it, you might even win an Oscar. Who knows? <laughs> Say what you will about Harvey. At least he wasn't forcing his jab on kids. Join Connor Corner where the big boys play.